Australian solar technology is building a reputation as the world's best after capturing the attention of US developers. They spent almost two years searching for the top way to light up a futuristic city and they found it down under. Welcome to the future, where security robots are being tested around the neighbourhood. Residents are connected to America's quickest internet and Australian innovation is lighting the way. I mean, is this the way of the future? I would say the future is here today. This is what our planet needs and it's phenomenal technology. Developers in Florida spent nearly two years searching for high-performance solar lighting and found it down under. Melbourne company Leadsun will provide more than 10,000 streetlights to the world's biggest solar project over the next few years. It's super exciting. Um, you know, we started developing this technology, you know, right here in Melbourne from the ground up from 2005. The technology is cheaper than electric lighting and can be controlled in real time from a smartphone anywhere in the world. You know, we call these like the green lighting machine. So the green aspects, the solar being off the grid and the ability for us to connect and control these remotely pretty much from anywhere uh, in the country is, is something that is groundbreaking. Exporting world-class technology could also be the future of our nation's economy as the federal government ramps up support for Australian manufacturers. Manufacturing is not a sector. Manufacturing is a capability. And this capability turns the lucky country into a smart country. Lead sunlights have been installed across hundreds of locations around Australia, but creator Matt Pollard is urging developers and governments here to take up more green community projects like Florida's. They're really trailblazing over there and I'd, I'd love to have that same sort of um, ambitious um, company uh, here in Australia, but, but maybe this will kick it off. And shine a light on Australian technology for the world to see. Estelle Lewis for 10 News First.